This is where professional services really help me. Being a former consultant, that's exactly how it feels. You know, like I, it's like Dan and Tanya are my longtime closest clients that I had when I was a partner at McKinsey. And what makes those relationships work well are three things. The first is a baseline understanding together, full alignment on what you're trying to accomplish. If you all have aligned on the goals, both near term and long term, it is so much easier to navigate any friction, any conflict, whatever it is, because you can always go back and say, oh no, we are trying to have a stadium that is 80% full of our fans, not opposing fans with this sell through rate. And that's our goal. We've all aligned on that. Here's where we're headed. Or, you know, more aspirationally, we have aligned on the fact that we are going to have the best place to work in the Washington DC metro area uh, from an organizational health and culture standpoint in the next three years, right? Like if we, like when we align on those goals, there's always a soft landing pad to which to retreat and land on when we have disagreements or when we need to talk through difficult topics. So I think that is key. Uh, the second thing is understanding what drives them. Understanding what drives them. Um, you know, and I won't share because it's, it's, it's usually quite personal, um, but understanding what drives them and everybody's different in their motivation. Some people it's mission to the world and society. For other folks, it's their family. For other folks, it's creating generational wealth that they can pass on and pass on econo um, economic security. For, for others, it's, uh, it's more reputational. You, you need to understand what are the, the main driving force. I would call it sources of meaning for folks and, um, and use that as the filter through which you explain your strategy and you can help them see how everything ties back to that, uh, that sort of core source of meaning. Um, I think the last one is putting structure around the relationship. Um, I think if you have regular touch points that are expected, if you come, you don't have to come with a, you know, fully fleshed out agenda, especially if they're more of a creative type and they want a free flow, but you need an objective each time you get together in some way to, to make sure that there's some structure around the conversation, then it ends up being a very productive relationship and you feel like everything is moving forward at different times. And those are just like professional services, consulting type principles, but they, they really, really have helped us get off to a smashing start.